They didn't miss a beat. The Hoover High School Band and cheerleading squad here to welcome 2,200 students back to school. You can see the diversity of the community on this mega campus in City Heights, which includes 98% students of color, a quarter of them English language learners, and about 150 students living without permanent housing. And they're all here to succeed. I'm going to challenge us, ask us, beg us, plead with us, create the conditions for them to be amazing now and into the future. These are some of the players on the girls' flag football team, a new league sport coming to 17 San Diego Unified campuses for the first time. It's good because you want to encourage more people, like little kids, to look up at you, and I feel pretty nice with it. It's really fun because we never had flag football at our school before, so it's the first time, and it's like nice to make history. Your foot push is like around 1.30, like between 1.40. Juniors and seniors at Hoover will begin sports medicine classes this fall. Now you can angle it up through the hand. This renovated classroom space will be used to educate students on how to practice medical protocols on each other while working to improve their academic grade point averages and explore career options. EMT, physical therapy, nurse, if you think of the skill sets we're learning here, it doesn't limit us to just, you know, athletic training. There is more than academics happening here on the Hoover High campus this year. This is one of the district's premier community schools, which means support programs for the whole student. Hoover has a medical and dental clinic on campus through a partnership with La Maestra Family Health Centers. Feeding San Diego provides 4,600 pounds of dry food and fresh fruits and vegetables every month to stock the school pantry for families to use. And there is therapy and individual counseling sessions available too. You can't learn if you're hungry. You can't learn if you're having trouble at home. You can't learn if you're dealing with mental health issues. You can't learn if your stomach hurts and you have an underlying medical condition. So we want our kids to perform at a high level. We need to make sure that we're meeting all their needs. And this is just the first day of school. MG Perez, KPBS News.